Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing. I'm a day well going. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, Threads, you name it, we're on it. If you can type Boss Talk Podcast 101 anywhere, streaming is allowed, you will find us. I guarantee you, but if you want to see our full length interviews, if you want to see our visuals, you definitely have to go ahead and subscribe to our membership on YouTube. You get exclusive content. Under this video and under every video in the description section, just click the link and it takes you straight to our membership section where you can join. And we appreciate you and we love you. Thank you very much for doing so. Man, hey man, listen man, we down here in Chicago, Illinois, man. Hey man, I I, I ain't gonna lie, I jump, I bump into some gems, man. You know what I'm saying? God been guiding me though. I already know what it is, man. Favor ain't fair and all that other good stuff, man. Check it, man. Hey man, Minister Seymour is in the building. Church on the move. I'm here. Man, it's so nice to have you on the platform, man. I've been looking forward to doing an interview with you. Yes, sir. I, I mean, man, I love what you got on, too, mm -hmm. man. Thank you, sir. Say, man, I'm going to have to step my game up. I see these boys layering out here in Chicago. Oh, Every yeah. time I come, they layering. They got the nice clothes. The coast is hanging to the flow. I, hey, I, you got to help me out here, baby. No, but Texas don't have that type of weather. For I don't care. I need to have it when I come up here with these boys. These boys ain't playing fair up here, man. Mm -hmm. so, so let's talk about this. Let's get into it. So were you born and raised here in Chicago? Yes, I have. I was raised here. What part? All over. All over. All over Where Chicago. were you born? I was born uh, all in, it's called Jewtown, in the street where everybody hang that. We were little kids snatching grab, little boys coming mm -hmm. through the neighborhood, bad little boys, you know. So <laughs> um, were you raised with your mom and your dad? Yes, I did. In the same mom. household? In the same household until I got like 10 years old. My mama passed when I was a little boy. Oh. That's when I got wow. Wow. Super wow. But it's normally the other way because normally daddy is the one who normally have the reins on the son and the mama can't stop you from going super wild, but it's the other way around for you. Well, you know, my, my daddy, he worked and he did the best he could. You know, I was like the preacher kids. The preacher kids was bad, the kids in the neighborhood, but my grandmama, she had a pod, you know, and raising us, but my mother passed and that was it you know we just she was your heart home. the best thing that i ever knew mm. of a mother so if i said some of the young brothers got a mother and father day give them respect and you remember a lot i remember my mama she was a saved woman christian woman prayed a lot she was in church my daddy was a preacher mm -hmm. and you know as we became the baddest kids we all had to preach and sing in the choir wow. we did everything you know so um how many siblings do you have uh, it's about it's about maybe six and six out of different mm. relationships. You know? Are you the youngest or oldest? I'm one of them. I'm, I'm 65 now, so okay. I'm not really young, but out of good family, you know, I I was the worstest child my daddy had. Bad boy in Chicago, you know, up and down the streets, uh, robbing the telephones and uh, hey, Man. dimes and nickels was was just like. Uh, Robbing the piggy bank. Mm. But yeah. at 10 years old, you said that's when it turned because your mom had passed away. But what attracted you to the streets? What a, and, and what did you see? Well, as I got older, I become, uh, as she passed, I went to school. I got an education. Mm. My dad made sure I went to school. I went to school. But I, I, I seen... Uh, guys uh, live the fast life. I just always... Wanted to be a superstar, and I became mm -hmm. a superstar. But what made me wanted to stay in the streets, man, I liked it, the pretty cars, you know, with the white walls on it, the kitchen, stuff like that, you know, hey, man. So that what changed my life. I didn't want to be the doctor or the lawyer, man, but uh, I know we used to be in church all the time preaching, pre preaching and singing for the Lord, and I just got tired, you know, and mm -hmm. I just, man, Seen them pretty cars, and man, I just started living the street life. You know, I thank God I never got drunk or got high off of drugs, but I was just riding. I think I was like 17 years old or 18 years old when I met my friend, Bishop Don Magic. Wow. Man, that's when you met him? I met him. How you did know. you meet him? Man, I was, uh, I was young, 
and I had a I had a pretty Cadillac, pretty 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 powder blue Cadillac. Wow! And what I year? Seen about a uh, 72, 73. Ooh. I met Bishop back then, mm -hmm. and he was riding in a Rolls Royce. Ooh! Oh, back Rolls -Royce. then, and he be calls me now. Them Rolls Royce, yeah, you all, yeah, night? yeah, all of them. You seen them? Yeah, cars I seen them cars the last night. It was two brand new Rolls Royce. Yeah, I seen them. Right I got like 30 some Rolls Royce in there. Wow. That was the best thing in my life as coming up in the game. He was a sharp dude, man. Tall, slim, had a big sombrano hat on. Green and gold, Jack. This guy <laughs> Green and gold, he say that. Man, I seen this cat. And so we became best friends. So we riding down the street in my cat like he riding his Rolls Royce. He, he blowing at me. He told me to pull over. I think that was like in 74, 73 or something. He did the the big player ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all mm -hmm. remember that? We was doing them on me, and I mean, on. I remember them happening. You know what I mean? We was doing them on and on. So that's where me and him became best of friends. I got in the car, rode with him. I said, "Man, what is this Batman car?" He said, "No, man, this is Rolls Royce." <laughs> so it was sharp. That was my first time got in the Rolls Royce, uh, man. Uh, I think he had a silver shot, a '62 or '63. Man, he had. Naked women's all painted on his on car. The, man. man, he was one custom of the work all custom good. work and one of the baddest cats because I done been around a lot of players in the time. He the become, baddest one. We become friends as 48 years. So that's, we did a party and we invite Ice T to come in. Okay. You know, at the I, time. That, that, was the, that, was the, that, was the, that wasn't a movie. This is just the party. It was the party. That's, but did you know him at the time when you invited him or you just invited him? Well, at the time, you know, riding with Bishop, man, this man, I done been to the White House with him. Man, I mean, this man done been everywhere. So he was like a hero. I was sharp because I had my mother's brothers were some cold players and Max back then. Okay. And I didn't want to uh, be what a lot of brothers wants to be. I always wanted to be a superstar. Mm -hmm. But see, when we bumped in head with Ice-T, it was cool. He was rapping and a game banger. So... Bishop told him, say, hey, man, if you want to join the famous players, come on. So he stepped up. He came around for about 10 years, hanging with us and kicking it, man. But at the time, man, he was bad. Ice-T was cold, whatever he did. He was sharp, <laughs> man. Yeah. So he did, I, I forgot the name of the video he did. He was, uh, he was sharp. I think he had a white suit with two girls on the side of yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. The players, I, yeah. uh, he, had, he had a couple of, he couple was of cold. Bad, bad jams, man, He too. was cold until he bumped Coco. Okay. Mm. And Coco shut his player game down. <laughs> and he become the guy to be a family man. He married. But That's that was right. the best thing he ever could mm -hmm. receive in his life was Coco. How was it when you guys, um, you know, the, when this picture took place that we talked about? Well, we... He called Bishop and said, man, I want y'all guys to marry me. See, because Bishop was the chairman of the board of Famous Player Organization. And see, I stood on the top of the, uh, of the world of church. Everybody holler church. Church, yeah. I'm the originator of church. Been had a patent for 25 years. Wow. So Bishop and Snoop Dogg took it to another level. level. But when Ice-T stepped up, Bishop said, man, you sure? You want to marry this girl? He said, yeah, man, I'm in love. He said, I can't a pimp and player fall in love, Ice-T. He said, man, I don't know, man, but I'm in love. So Bishop took his player's card from him and told him, get on out of here. Yeah, took it from him. Took his player's card from him. So pimps and players do not fall in love. Well, if you run across the right chick, you know, anything can bust the cap. Right, because so, I've, yeah, I've heard a lot of pimps say that they love their hoes. Well, see, Ice-T and Bishop, them, they was they was pimps. I was always been a superstar in Candy, man. Them boys, they was back there pimp. You know, I feel, you know, that they can take it to another level. But, man, mm -hmm. when you meet the baddest chick and see, uh, some guys got about 12, 13 girls. Right. And so they mind they that just for the money, like Bishop. Mm -hmm. He done had 20, 20 of them, 15 or 20 of them. The man don't know how to do nothing. He don't know how to change a tire on a car. He really just learned how to put gas in the car. No. Yeah. One time we was at a club and a player ball. We come out because he won the crown. I got yeah. to give him his credit. He, he won the crown. Bishop took the crown. Man, we went to we, New York. We went to Florida. Everywhere we go, he took the crown. Mm -hmm. So we came out one day. They done cut all his ties. So I'm looking. I'm going to try to get him some, some help, man. So 
at the time we didn't have a number of beepers back then. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, beep yeah. him said, Man, where you at when he called me? He said, I'm, he got to a payphone to call me. He said, Man, I'm driving. I said, How you driving? He drove the whole car to the west side on flats. <laughs> I said, Man, at least you could have tried to fix that. He said, What is that? He he don't know how to fix a flat. He ain't even trying to hear it. He ain't he got time, time for it, man. Man, so you like, like, so how was it? Like, what did you go have to go to California or where did you guys marry Ice T at? I think we was in California, in Cali, in California, or New York, Canada. Where we was at? California. Man, but we, we, I was like his best man standing there. He was crying. Ice T crying. No, man, me and Bishop Aww. humping each other, and he crying. I said, look at this big pimp. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> Dang it, boy. <laughs> he said, that's why I took his player's card. He's not ready. He fell in love. I said, man, he fell in love. Man, look at Shaw with Coco. Coco, fine, Jack, pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes, she can be. So I, she said, man, it is what it is, man. He said, I got tired running with y'all anyway. I got in trouble all the time. There's <laughs> <laughs> something else I wanted to ask you about as well. Like, you told Snoop Dogg to go home. You said go on home. Snoop Dogg was a gangster. He was running with us. Yeah. He wanted to pimp. I said, Snoop Dogg, check this out. Let me pull you to the side, man. Let me pull you to the side, man. Snoop Dogg, you not. Get his chair so we can pull him in. You not. No pimp, man. You a gangster, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. You a gangster. But yeah, man, let's, I want to talk about Snoop, man. Like, Snoop Dogg is, uh, man, he, 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 he different, man. He Everybody knows that he can go from one thing to the next and still look grandiose. See, one thing about Snoop Dogg, I told him, I told him good, uh, Jamie, uh, what the, Jamie Magazine, they put it in the magazine. I, one day Snoop, man, he come there with a cape on at the play ball, which he bumped a, uh, a few Bishop girls, you know, and took them home, man. And I said, hey, man, we just ex accepted as the game. Wow. But you know, I told him, I said, Snoop, man, Man, you're not no gangster, Jack, and you, you're not no pimp, man. Wow. He said, why not, man? He, he said, who said I wasn't? I said, man, I've been in this game a long time. Man, why would you wait till you get rich and leave your wife, man? Why would you leave her? She got Y'all got a lot of money together, but you got a beautiful wife, man, and beautiful family. Man, go back home to your wife, man. This game is not for everybody. This game is not for you, man. Bishop was a, a good thing that came into his life by talking to him, telling him, and saving him was a spiritual advisor. When him and uh, Suge Mike them didn't see the eye to eye. I remember that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I remember I had a, some 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 girls was singing out of uh, Chicago. They was uh, called Fuski, and uh, they I have a, a guy went to school with me. His name was, uh, uh, well, Raino and uh, Lil Shorty. They were some good friends of mine. They took them girls to California, and they were singing. So uh, we got there with Tupac. This one he was living. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Tupac, he, he listened to me. I used to encourage him and tell him, hey, man, don't be so wild, man, because when, when they killed him, we was there at the MGM the, the day Mike Tyson had a fight that day. Yes, he would. Yeah. We was there, me and Bishop, and uh, cause I introduced Snoop Dogg to Bishop and Bishop to Snoop Dogg. That's and, where you met him at. Yeah, and I gave uh, Snoop Dogg Bishop book, and so we all became good friends. Cause the friend of mine, her name was Stacy Small, and she introduced. Me to Snoop Dogg, and okay. I introduced Bishop to Snoop Dogg, because they was, was working with Death Row back then. Man. And uh, they was singing on the Death Row records and with a little boy in Chicago Danny called boy. Danny Boy. And so at the time, I got a chance to know Snoop. We was kicking it. He put me in a lot of videos. That's the best thing ever. Second thing happened to me, because Snoop Dogg made a way to all when I'm riding, slick, looking good now. You know, he, he support me money-wise, too. And I thank God for him today because a lot of rappers ain't did nothing for me and Bishop. Number one, the hip-hop, all this bling, 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 it came from us. Yeah, but uh, I got to go back to Snoop. When he, I remember when he did that 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 video and the fabulous dramatics. It's like everywhere I get so and every, 
You well, remember that we video? Was in California when he did that. Mm-hmm. Me okay. and Bishop was there. What did y'all think about that? Because that was pretty much him really showing respect. But then some people could look at it as, should he be using this? Because this hip-hop thing is, well, you know what t- I mean? Well, at the time, to get where he had to get today, yes, he used it. And, you know, Bishop was always standing there with him. I'm in Chicago, but Bishop been standing there with him day one. And so... If you hang around pimps or whoever you hang around, players or whatever, you're going you gonna to pick up some ways. Watch who you have around your house. The babysitters, uh, people come to your house around your grandbabies. You, you tell, that's when we came up, my grandmama said, y'all go in another room. So Snoop just picked up some ways when we did the PIMP with 50 Cent. I remember. Man, we made them brothers. Man, Bishop a cold man. It, I don't, I'm not trying to hold his hat, and I ain't gonna hold nobody hat. But Bishop was a cold brother when I met him, and I still respect him. He gave me my respect, but when I was uh, 17, he was about 23 or 25, a few years older than me. My, like I said, my uncles gave me the game. My mama brothers was sharp when I met Bishop. So I dressed purple and white. Those were my colors, he green and gold. But still, Snoop Dogg wanted to live that life. And we crowned him. At the player ball, we crowned him. We crowned Ice T. They got to come through famous players, through Bishop Don Magic Warren, if they want to be stamp certified. Because he the president, I'm the vice president. So I respect him. But Snoop Dogg, I said, man, go home, man. Go home to your lovely wife. He went home. He said, man, thank you. So he just did a birthday party two years ago. I walk in, Snoop Dogg jumped off the stage and ran before I can get in here, in the door, and told his wife, he said, baby, this man here, the cause we being together, made me come home. Minister Seymour made me come home to you. And she shook shook my hand, she said, thank you so much for making my husband come home. Reverend, hmm? at Snoop Dogg party, after you had did that and said that to him, mm-hmm. now we had Naomi Campbell, we had Pup Daddy at the party, show you the respect that Snoop Dogg has for his wife today, is that Shantae walked in there and called his name one time, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> In front of Naomi Campbell. Yes, sir. In front of Diddy. And looked at me. I took my hat off. I said, yes, ma'am. That's right. When he come down to the wife, that's golden with the players. Yeah. Man. Rabbit and, no. And she she didn't want she didn't want her husband hanging around that. And I understand. Cause my wife be saying the same thing. I say I ain't no pimp. I always been a superstar. So when you hear famous players, I originated that too. She's me and my wife got to argue one day. She said, "I have your last name. I'm Christine Beard." I said, "Yes, you are." But this, she said, "Y'all ain't you. Y'all ain't famous players." So I got that from her. Y'all think y'all so famous player? So I got it from my wife, and I. Kicked it with the players, but when I told that brother, Snoop, man, ain't nothing better going home. When I go home every day with them grandbabies and them great-grandchildren, I have a job to do. Mm -hmm. I learned to be a grandfather, a great-grandfather. Hey, man, when you become a great-grandfather, hey, man, that that puts you on another level. You're not no father no more, but you're a grandfather and a great-grandfather because grandbabies coming here, coming here, and coming there. Hey man, that made me grow up a little bit. I want to ask because it's a legacy. You're yeah, gonna have to pass up. down. That's right. I want to go back though. I want to go back to when you said you was in Las Vegas the night Tupac was killed mm-hmm. at the Tyson fight. Keefe D and all these guys going to jail all these years later is a surprising thing for me when I think about it. Mm-hmm. Like, like, man, I thought that case was closed. It never, it was always gloomy. Just give me the spiel on how was the atmosphere that night after that had happened. Well, you know what, before it happened, 
we was there, you know, and uh, when the fight broke off and everything, when the fight broke off, we was there. I, I mean, let me tell you something too. I want to cut you off, but uh, who else was there? Was uh, Floyd Mayweather? He was there. Floyd Mayweather. He said, "I'm gonna be the first professional fight," and I remember Bishop said. Get out of here, little punk. Get out of here. <laughs> and, and, and a friend of our made rest in peace, King Bean, said, come on, man, let's take a picture with Floyd Mayweather. So when he came to Chicago, years later, I said, hey, man, I'm the one you begged to take a picture with, and you don't want to take a picture with me now. So I remember when he first... He, he didn't was, want to take a picture with no, you? No, he didn't. He, Why? When he came to Chicago, because sometimes... Because he was big at that time. Yeah, that's right. So he got the big head. He got the big head. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you that night we was out there at the uh, the casino where I remember they kicked over the the, the, uh, the casino tables. They it was they were it was riding and they they told they told the place up. And y'all was in the vicinity. Y'all seen all this action going all on. All this going on. Real time. Real time. All this was going on. They told the casino up, man, and uh, everybody was running, screaming, and hollering and stuff like that. So when we heard about it, everybody was running in. I said, hey. Tupac got killed. How long after that? How how long was it after that? Before I, you heard that? Yeah, in the casino to hearing that. Well, we was in the casino, and when we we heard about it, and everybody, we it was, was still in the casino. Yeah, we was in the casino, but they was outside or somewhere, you know. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. from the time y'all never left the casino. No, we stayed. We stayed in the casino, you know. And no, then, but from the time the fight broke out to you hearing them come back to say he just got shot, was it like? When, 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 when everything jumped off, we were still inside. You know, everybody was going, looking, peeking. You know, I, uh, most brothers and sisters, we all nosy. Yeah. People say, they nosy, you nosy too. So, <laughs> you know, everybody was wanting to see what was going on, you know, and everybody wanted to meet Mike Tyson. Yeah, you yeah. You know, and uh, 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 because we was getting ready to go. I'm listening to we you. We was getting ready to go to the fight, but all the Muslim, Muslim brothers uh, with Farrakhan, they was there on the security for Tupac, for, for Mike Tyson. So we was all going in the tunnel. And that's who we, we met, a Tupac. He, he, he had an army suit on. And we was going all down in, in the uh, tunnel. And I said, man, who is this wild dude? That was Tupac. He said, man, let Don Juan in, let Don Juan in. Let the Bishop Don Juan in, let him in. We didn't know who he was, but he knew because Bishop cares colors everywhere he go. So uh, Tupac said, man, let him in, let him in, let him in, because the brothers didn't want us to come in. So Tupac was wild, said, man, I shut this joint down right now. I shut it down. So Mike, Mike Tyson, he was getting ready to go on because we was all backstage with Mike Tyson, getting ready to go on because he wanted Bishop Don Magic One. The move when he moved. That's what Mike Tyson wanted, you know. And so he said, "Man, I'm going. I want Don Juan to go on with me." You know, we was all together, you know. But uh, that's how it went, man. Wow, so, you man. Know, the last day of Tupac's life, y'all was right there. We to was see right, him We was right there with him. Wow. And he really wanted some, some players with him. Man, a lot of brothers when they get around their wives, they don't know the pimps and the players. <laughs> but soon with Mama Lee. Man, I'm gonna tell you some 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 rappers now, but I ain't gonna bring their name up. They burn they burn my friend phone up all day and all night. Come over to his house, man. Open up the door, Bishop. Open up the door. They just man, they, man, they, they wear him to death. Man, can I be at the next player ball? Oh, it's a lot of them come to the player ball. Big Daddy King, all of them. They yeah. come in. Every rapper you know have been to them player balls with us. So. 50 cent them, they got to respect the game, man. The bling bling, we brought it to the table. You know, Bishop, you see Mr. T, all that jury, Mr. T. Yeah, yeah, on, for sure. It came from Bishop. Bishop? That's hmm, really? Bishop how does, how does, I, I T, thought he was way you back. You know you owe Bishop that money, take up that money. He owe money. He won't pay. <laughs> you know, Mr. T was a good brother, but he came out of the neighborhood one was working at Dean Bass at the time. You know, he was Bishop Bodyguard at first. Really? Man. To Mr. T? Yes, he was, man, a lot. See, a lot of people don't know the history. Out of 48 years, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot. Wow. And now that y'all want to push up to the side, y'all would never push up us to the side because we're going to stay down. And what I was telling you, I thank God for Snoop Dogg again. Mm -hmm. Pushed me and helped me. One of the rappers, and a lot of them know they owe us now.
But I'm praying for one young brother when he get out, young thug. I've been working with oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. You been he's working with him? He's mm-hmm. getting ready to get out. I've been going to jail to see him. I've been flying back and forth. Back and forth. As a minister of him standing with him when he go into court, I've been there for young thug. But I know he's going to get out because the judge said on the 16th, if y'all don't bring that evidence, he going to be he out. Gonna, there. How long? Okay. How did you end up building, even having a relationship to even help him? With young thug? thug? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have a beauty shop. And my daughter, Sade, and, and uh, Shay, you know, I got Reverend Toby, he got a barber shop. And Vic run the, uh, the, I have a luxury rental, Rolls Royce's company. So my kids, when people come to Chicago, we have a rental, luxury rental uh, USA. Mm-hmm. We pick up all of the celebrities their age. So my daughter, she go pick them up, and my daughter, Sade, she make wigs for the girls and okay. sisters with okay. body them. So my daughters, they know a lot of people, you know, in the young generation. So when he came to the beauty shop, he knew me. I didn't know him. He knew you. He knew who I was. And so when you seen all this happen with the Rico charge and gun and all them going to jail, you knew you had to be there for it. Man, let me tell you something. We know R. Kelly. Yes. Why would they give him a Rico charge? Hmm. R. Kelly I tell you again, he came around us coming to the playoffs ball. Yeah. They all want to be Bishop Don Magic Warren. Not me. They want to be him. I Kelly, we used to go visit him. Know what he do? He'll clap his hand. His girls will go in the back. But I Kelly is not no pimp. He's not no player. He, he maybe have some mental problems or whatever. I don't know. But what I'm saying, he wanted to be like Bishop. And why would they give him the Rico charges? Why would they get the ugly coach charges? This is a new law. They want to bury young brothers now. Wow. You need young brothers? Man, I don't want the parties. They had bring trucks come and throw money all off the roof. Bring trucks of money, 20s and 50s and 100s. Man, you know where we came from? We couldn't afford to throw a dollar away. Hmm. I couldn't throw a nickel away. That's real. Mm-hmm. That's so and real. man, the shit the young brothers down, they came up with a RICO law. Right. Wow. Do you think R. Kelly will ever come out? Yeah, I believe so, because mm-hmm. you know why? They know, they just, the slow, sometimes we get hard-headed sometimes. You know, and some of the women's, they get hard-headed too in their marriages and stuff like that. Then, you know, and people don't understand that uh, some of the best, the beautiful women, they like to sleep on the couch, don't like to sleep in the bed with their husband. They want to sleep in the, uh, in the bed with their blue jeans on. So <laughs> they get hard-headed. Oh, you know, it... it it goes up and down. Mm. And you got to be ready for the game because the game is cold, but it's fair. So we know I Kelly ain't do that, but I back again, like I said, on our boy Snoop Dogg. I love the dog. The dog is a gentleman, mm-hmm. and he can go on anybody's show and do it right. And that's true. Any commercial you see Snoop Dogg do, he did it right. Wow. Well, let me let me ask you this, man, because I gotta get I gotta get this out of you, man. I'm a I'm a Texas cat. Okay. And I'm real stomped down on Texas okay. stuff. And I seen you. You was over there at that uh, play. I choose you video shoot. Mm-hmm. Stop playing, y'all. Y'all boys, man. And that was Pimp C. I'm a, yep. That's my number one nah. of all time. Nah. So Pimp C, you know that that and me, like when it comes to Texas music, that's where I'm at with mine. So. Tell me about when you and Valentino and Pimpin' Ken and all y'all was sitting in there and done one. I want to know about that. Well, man, the game recognized game, so that's why they put it together. Now, Pimp, Pimp C came to my beauty shop in Chicago. I didn't know Pimp. Kenny sent him over there. Pimp, he gave me a bag then, a bag of money. Really? And showed me so much love and said, hey, man, thank you. Whatever you want to shoot my video, be in it, I want you there. Man, the man showed me so much love. And the fur coat he got on the white one. Yeah, the white it one. come from Church Furs. I made that coat for my company. You made that coat? I made that coat. That was a $25,000 okay, coat. Okay, you, you can't just say that. How did he end up, did you, he called you and said, I need to get a coat? Man, you done messed me up now. Man, the interview might stop, boy. I'm a fan no, of him. No, he hmm. came. Yeah. <laughs> he came to my beauty shop. Real player, man. I didn't know him. My barber said, someone here to, to meet you. I said, I don't, ain't nobody looking for me because I don't even come in the barber shop. I don't even come around. So I so happened that day, he pulled up in a Lincoln, a black Lincoln, a car. Not no long limousine, but it was a black with tinted windows. He got out and came in with a lot of jewelry by himself. 
Say, hey, man. Oh, he buying solo. He said, hey, man, how you doing? I said, how you doing, young man? Come on in. He came in. He said, do you know who I am? I said, no, I don't. He said, I'm Pimp C. I said, what? He said, man, you my mentor. And I did like four, <laughs> four songs with them right. on, on his uh, CD. Mm -hmm. Which song? Man, uh, I think one of them is Lick Your Panties. Really? One of them, one of them uh, 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 what is, what is that? Uh, it said I don't like, uh, one of them is I don't like titties, titties stink, or something like that. <laughs> he was tough, wasn't he? Yeah, he was tough, and I, I, I've been trying to get with them if I can get paid. Let me know about this jacket, though. How did he end up, you, did he pick it? You Or you picked it for him, or how was it? No, he he wanted to be top in the game, so he said he a big boy, so I gave him big boy prices and brought him in at the player ball. He said, man, we'll do ours and we'll shoot the video. So when he seen us come in and Kenny, Kenny was sharp in his game too. He came under Bishop, Kenny Ivey, he came in, Pimp C came in under Kenny. So uh, at the time, he said, man, I want to get my, my meal fur coat to the floor. I said, what? Well, Let's do it. We made it up. Uh, I think we made one for his mother too. May she My mama Wes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think his son. We made we made a couple coats for his son. We made a few coats. He he spent a, a bankroll with us. Wow, man. A, how did you? How did you? Okay. How did you think it looked when y'all did the the after seeing the, <laughs> that that video? How did that look to you once you seen how? It, Turned was, out. It was beautiful. You can pull it up now. It, the coat is beautiful. He had all the top flight female skins, man. He spent a bankroll on that coat, you know. So, man, we gave him love and we gave him support, man. And he just he couldn't he couldn't stay out of Chicago. He, you know, he came all the time unexpected. So I came out the house to kick it with him. He just felt so comfortable around me, man. Showed love, and I, I hate he gone on be with the Lord, but. He did show some love. Wow, man. Now, I want to get back to, like, like y'all early on. I remember Pimp and Ken told stories about seeing Magic done one when he was young and, and having, a, you know, <laughs> him being out of Milwaukee. Just just how did that whole thing, you from your side, how did that even come to okay, be? Okay, check this out. He came in. Now, Kenny under me now. <laughs> okay. I'm the church. He under my church, man. <laughs> He's a great friend of mine. Well... He always, hey man, want to come to the player ball because we did pimp up holes down. And I got a lot of brothers in there. Okay. You know, and uh, I put that thing together and uh, Kenny got a big check out of it. I think I got a big check and Bishop got a big check. But all the other brothers didn't get a dime. Didn't get a dime. So uh, when he came in, hey man, we want to meet Don Ma. We want to meet Don Bishop Don Ma. I said, hold up, player. Now, I'm going to walk y'all in, but y'all got to pay me. Wow. So him and one of his friends today, him, Judge Divine, Big Lonnie. You probably know okay, Big Lonnie yeah, out of yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. I think they just he just he just got over two hundred million dollars out of some rap or something, but he doing good, Ooh, Big yeah. Lonnie. Yeah. That's my man. Big he Lonnie. was uh one guy who was real Lonnie was real slick and sharp and bump your bro before you know it. He was real quiet. Big old, they thought he was a jab. <laughs> but Lonnie would bump your chick in two seconds. And so, I invited them to the player ball, and I said, all you brothers have a seat. I'm going to get the bishop out. So we was on 87 at Mr. G's player thing. We had bishop behind the, the wall, and they got a chance to meet bishop, signing his books, buying his books, and everything. I think that was the best thing that ever happened to the Milwaukee boys. Snooky and all of them. They was marshmallows when they come down to our game. His players right now, no, they couldn't step up to us. We well, number one still. What, Minister, well, Kenny actually came two or three years, man. I was like, hold up. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. came, he came in. Hold he up. came in, but he still had to go through Bishop. That's right. When he came in, Kenny was good. What he did, he That's good. Right. Kenny was cold, but some cold, kind of man. way he fell off his horse and got out of sight. See, a lot of times people get out of Get out of sight and fall on their horses. They can do good or do bad. But he, he stayed back and just did his thing. What he doing now? Put the guns down. What I do, put the guns down, stop the killing. What Kenny doing nothing, he doing some, some good HHF, stuff. HHF. Uh, well, uh, 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 HHF. Hip-hop. Hip-hop uh, fraternity. Yeah. He yes, doing sir. a lot of great stuff 
for the community, like I'm doing, put the guns down, yes, stop the killing. He feeding a lot of people right now. He got a lot of rappers behind him. He doing a great job. Man, yes, I, you know, how I, did you meet, sorry, but how did you meet Kenny Ivey? Kenny, um. Was it that night? Well. When you were introducing the dumb one? No, no he I, met, I met him. I met him uh, uh, so happened, when we do playoff balls, a lot of the newcomers, they stay in the back. See, my, I'm always got my eyes open looking for that dollar. <laughs> See, Bishop ain't gonna talk to none of them. He ain't gonna answer no phones. I said, man, why you got a phone? You'll never answer it. You can call him a hundred times. He don't answer the phone. So they can get through me. So I talked to them brothers. I said, okay, I'm gonna invite y'all out. Y'all can get a chance to talk to him. So man, that's why they came in. They started coming in and snooky them. They came in there with all that. Girls got their head down. Which that's something we don't deal with in our game when guys mess with babies and stuff like that. We we don't know nothing about all that. Because the game, you got to respect the game in order to get respect. But when they start the guys start messing with little kids and not we don't know nothing about that and uh put a bad room on us because we don't live like that. You got to be old enough to come around this organization. If not, we're not letting you in. No, I get that, man. I, Ken said, I think he said that him and Don Juan had done and got mad at him because of the where it was a church or something. It was something that he had he had said. Yeah, this what he, what I, this what he said. Now. <laughs> like I said earlier, mm -hmm. my mother and father was preachers. Right. Church, C H U R C H. C -H. That's church. Now, church is C H U U C H. U -U -C -H. I designed the name, I designed the word, I made the name up. What's the meaning of the word? The meaning of it is when a group of people get together, if you listen to the OJs, say family reunion, when a group of people get together, long as positive, and we're having a great time, a good time, no cussing, no fighting, that would mean church, that's what it means, when a group of people get together and we agree on the same thing, that's called church, having a party, having church. And my grandmama used to say, y'all kids go in there and get ready for church. Mm -hmm. She didn't say church, she was old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Church, mm -hmm. that's where I got it from, church. Okay, so what did Kenny say? Kenny said, man, they playing with the, with the church, they playing with the Lord. No, we wasn't, because it wasn't. It, he it was, wasn't church. He would think it, it was church, church, but it's church. Mm -hmm. And I explained it to him, no, y'all. See, a lot of people don't know what, I guess they know what church mean, and they didn't know what church mean. Like I said, I have it patterned, and I know what it is because I created it. So it was something I created, and the majority of all the rappers shouted in their verses or what singing, mm -hmm. and, but Bishop Don, Magic One, and Snoop Dogg had elevated and took it to another level. Mm -hmm. and so that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Wow, that and that's and that's something else because when you think about just the way everybody used that word, mm -hmm. the way everybody used y'all terminologies, how did that? How did you guys feel when everybody started in the hip hop game carrying those cups and they was carrying them cups mm -hmm. on every video, acting as if they, they was, was awesome. See, that's the point. Debbie the glass lady, she created the glasses. She been around us about 12, 13 years. You know, out of 48 years, me and Bishop, and uh, we've been doing major things in, in all over the world. But they still had to come through him. The bling bling, all the jewelry you see, all the rappers talking about bling bling and jewelry and pretty cars. It came from him, man. Came from him. Yeah, cause he he exploded, and let him know, hey man, for the hip hop thing, he the the done Mm-hmm. You know, he he capped it off, because man used to man this this man used to come down the street with his car. He had the big old Rolls Royce, big old white walls on it. He he made a way for a lot of brothers to ride slick. A lot of guys want to be Undertakers, man. We we want to. I wanted to be a superstar, but he was one of the number one pimps. You know, I done seen a lot of pimps in the game for the last 48 years I've known him. He's still, he's still dressing every day. Like I said, I don't care no man hat, but I'm just telling you him. Yeah. He wears a suit every day. Even now. 
He wear a suit every day and stay sharp and ride the slick green and gold every day. And got his jewelry on. And got his jewelry on. Bling, bling, hip hop for all the hip hop, the rappers that came through us. When uh, Too Short. Yeah, yeah, he, he was big on it too. Too Short came to Chicago at night, like 83, 82, uh, Scarface then. All yeah. Them. We remember all them boys, man. We remember all them boys. Rapping uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the all them. All them. We remember Papa when they Dude. came here. They Bill came. Scratch. They came mm. here under us. We didn't go to them. They came to us, man. That's my friend. They came through us. We didn't go New York or Florida. We didn't go to Houston. But man, they came to us like pimp came to me. Buster Ryan. It speak for itself, man. And y'all need to give us our stars. They try to shut us down from the movies and videos. Brother, we still gonna do it, man. I got so many Rolls Royce and so many pretty houses. Now we got six yachts on the water. Not boats, yachts. So you come to Chicago, look up. Luxury Rental USA. Luxury Rental USA. You gonna either get a Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, whatever car you want. You're going to get yachts. Call that number, 773-355-7012. You're going to get me, and I'm going to let them deal with my kid, my sons. I don't do no business with them. Wow. And you stay booked all the time. We stay booked because we's a praying family. Well, let me ask awesome. you. I'm going to go back to the, 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 the you said something real about somebody getting peeled. I've talked to different guys. You see, that said, somebody yeah. getting peeled for they for they you know he used they, a different word yeah he, you use a different word when they yeah when they when they get bumped okay. like I talked to Ken about that and I talked to Rallo the pimp about that mm -hmm. and and they, he was saying that it's a way that you know that etiquette it's a it's an etiquette it's a way that they pass off like you don't if somebody peel you you call and tell them I got it and they pretty much they okay with it well, sometimes sometimes they not that was in the younger uh, 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 this new generation thing let me tell you something man <laughs> uh, these niggas will kill you say how did they woman so back mm. then I seen Bishop man I seen Bishop the, the dumbest thing I ever seen this boy came in the door with three girls. He want, he was thirsty to meet my buddy. He was glad to meet us, man. He was glad to walk in the door at a famous play and come in the door with a bishop say, hey man, what you working with it? He said, uh, he introduced Bishop to his girls. What'd he do that for? Mm. Bishop said, hey man, you want a fellowship with us? He said, yeah. He said, well go to the liquor store with him. Let's fellowship. We did, we drink Don Perignon riding, and they smoking him and Snoop Dogg. They smoke. I don't smoke that weed. It was yeah. smoked up in the joint, man. Man, why would he leave his woman? I was just about to say. Why? Why, <laughs> why would you leave your woman? And go, man, he came back. They gone. <laughs> when he came back, I feel sorry for him, man. He was crying. I said, man, you a Mac. You gotta accept the game. Man, the man came back with his shoes on back, with his coat on back, cried. He called the police. When the police came, he said, I'm here. Uh, the young the young man said he left his woman and his girls in the room. I said, is these the young ladies? He, he said, yeah. And she told the police, she said, sir, what's you looking for me for? She said, I'm not with him no more. I'm with Don Juan. Mm, All wow. three of them. He peeled them just that fast. He peeled them. But why he think he could call the police and what the police going to do? These are grown women that choose yeah. where they going to be. Yeah, so you that, know, the game I, is so... The game is different. You must, you got to pay for the game. Anytime you're dealing with me, I'm not going to give you this game for you got to pay for it. All them young brothers, you want to play those cards, you want to join an organization, it's not free. You can't go to Jewish, you can't go to Burger King, you can't go to Walmart and get nothing free. You yeah. got to pay. Man, I, I interviewed one Mar Marnita, Kenny mm -hmm. Red, uh, uh, R.I.P. to Kenny oh, Red. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, like Martina. Did you, Martina, did you know Kenny Red? Kenny Red was a great friend. He was an enforcer. He was with the famous players organization. He was come. He under Bishop Don Magic Warren. That's what I'm saying. These brothers be so funny when they with their wives, but you got to check in with Bishop Don Juan, man. You got to check in with me. That's why he told Kenny, uh, 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 I man, Ice T, you sure? You sure you want to be with Coco? He cried, yeah. Bishop said, turn your player's card in right now. 
He turned his car in and got with Coco. He ain't uh, never looked back, man. He living good. Ice T living good, man. I he know. I went over when I house. talked to Ice T. I pulled up in that the last time I, a few years ago. Ice T was in Chicago. I pulled up in my great front him. He said, "Man, that's sharp, Jack. Man, that's sharp." He said, "Man, I can't go back, man. I got, I got to stay with Coco, man. Mm -hmm. That's my baby." Then he got a little pretty baby girl. Yeah, 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 she beautiful. I said, God, man, that's the she. baby girl in the family. And, then, right. and she made him cut his hair, man. Yeah, uh -huh. he did. He cut his hair. It's yeah. all gone. So it's gone, man. He turned his, he took his gloves off, and I ain't gonna box no more. But look, coming up on the bishop. See, when they come in like they want, they've been, bishop, so I'm gonna make sure you show me what you're here for. You come in this church, you gotta show me. So IST stepped up. He was a good member and uh, showed his self approval what, what he wanted to do. And there it is. Now, Kenny Red the same way. Kenny Red was a cold man. Out of uh, Vegas, he was a concrete jungle. Kenny Ray was our man, and the young lady talk about. I didn't know he married her, so he fell in love with her too, cause mm -hmm. he married her, and everybody didn't know that was his hope. But he married her, so it happens like that. Yeah, it's happened like that. That's why I'm just saying. Right. Excuse me. Hey man, I done seen. But when he married him, do you have to turn? Cause he didn't turn in his player's card when he got married. So how well, did why he, did? But he, he was still pimping, though. So he didn't turn, have to turn his he car He didn't have in. to turn it in. It's like bringing sand to the beach. Yeah. You know, he didn't bring sand to the beach. Mm. Well, what he did, uh, uh, he had his sand already. He brought, he brought Martina with him all the time. So that's how she be, got famous hanging around him. So I guess he loved Martina. That's why he married her. So you can be in love being a pimp and married but still be a pimp. And have your player's card. You said one more time? You can be in love, have, and be married, and still be a pimp. You can be whatever you want to be, but out, out of Vegas in California, now they got one guy, I named him uh, the great, great, great grandmaster out of, out of, out of California. He so that good. Him, him and uh, 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 Kenny Red was running together for years. See, when they say these brothers, a lot of these brothers just came around Bishop and they think you're supposed to come in. But if you're not crowned right, you got to be stamped right. In order for to be in the church, you can, you can come in, but you're going to be over at uh, the pastor of choir. You're going to be by the deacon board. You can pop way by the ursus. You ain't going to be in. Ain't nobody going to know you. One dude said, man, I've been coming around y'all 20 years. I ain't won none yet. He said, man, let me give you this 100000 I said, 100000 he had it. I said, come on, let me bring you in the church. Let <laughs> <laughs> bring you on up. We're going to baptize you today. Oh, I brought him on in. Brought him I in. brought him in. And, and today, believe me, he loved to Bishop, man. He loved Bishop, man. This boy loved him. I ain't going to say his name out, but he loved to Bishop. Hey, man, it's just like this you and your wife, y'all organization. Yeah. It ain't mine. This y'all built this. Hey man, I'm gonna tip my hat off to him. This bishop organization, famous players in his organization. He's my friend, but somebody the head. He the head of that. I'm not. Did, did you ever meet? You knew Phil Moore. Phil Moore Slim. Phil Moore Slim. Yeah, I met Slim. He just had a party last uh, this Saturday. He did. I didn't get a chance to make it because man, like me, I've been. I never turned my players card in. I'm gonna keep my players card all my <laughs> life because. I can't forget what this card brought me. Yeah. It's brought, this card brought mighty me long way. a mighty long way. And but number one, I'ma respect the queen of my life. That's Christine. See the queen, I got to respect her. I'm not gonna bring that mess home. I don't have company in my house. I have a big house. How long you been married? 45 years. Wow. I gotta ask you how. Ga gangsters have done everything in the book but died. But they ain't bring you to their house around their family. That's right. Mm -hmm. I don't have company in my, but my relatives, street people's off the street. You can, you're not, you're not welcome. Right. Yeah, How can you welcome that. when mama walking around cooking chicken? Right. You know, and uh, I, me, I, I put it like this here. Uh, I, I like my, my wife to be sexy when I, when I take my coat off and take my house shoes off, and I go take a shower and she get out the shower. My grandkids run into the house. 
And you know, and she ain't got no underwear, but she got the gown on, and she shaking. Come here, baby. I got to see that. <laughs> Picking up my grandbaby's holding me. She cooking my food and bringing my plate to my to, to the table to the yes, bed. Sir. In the chair, I, I got a bigger climber chair. I don't have mercy. Control. <laughs> in the chair. And I sat down. Yeah, I want to see her. Pretty feet. She keep her, nail, her nails on her feet. She did. Who don't want to see her? A beautiful woman she walk around now. So why would you bring your friends and your I don't your do outsiders it. around your right. I don't do it. I don't do it. No, and I don't blame you. Um, I don't do it. Let yeah. me ask you this, man. Like, when you think about, like, you guys being up here in Chicago, and, and when we being in Texas, we look up here and we see the, the, the way the whole setup is. We hear about the violence, and yeah. but we see, I hear about the pimping, and yeah. I hear about the players, and I hear about the macking, but about the gang wars as well. Too. How did you guys parallel that? It, it, how did you guys keep it separate? Well, I'm going to tell you this here. Number one, just like I said, look me up. Luxury Rental USA. USA. Luxury Rental USA. USA. Yeah. See, what I do sometimes, I may I may put 10 Rolls Royces in front of my office, pretty, in the summertime. And every rapper in the town, come, they be in line, want to take pictures and shoot videos. I say, listen, who running everything? You? I'm going to leave these cars out here. All y'all can shoot y'all videos. But uh, somebody scratch a cop, y'all not gonna get no more chance to shoot no videos. So they'll come on Lake Street to shoot their videos and everything and have a good time. And they put their guns down. And the police, I said, officer, don't mess with them. Leave them alone. They enjoying themselves, sir. Leave them alone. The police said, man, thank you for telling me that. But that's my job. But it's not your job just to mess with the young man. They ain't bother nobody. Who cops? Don't worry about who cops. So you try to slow down and so cut the all, all I got the an organization, put the guns down, stop the killing. And so that's why Thug, he joined with me. When he come home, he's going to join in Chicago, our organization, for the Taylor Brothers, put the guns down, stop the killing. So that's where I come in at, man. I just, I grew up and uh, uh, got my life together more. I can think better because I have influence on them young brothers. Right. Tell them, hey man, respect your mother and father. Put the guns down. And that, that's why I said, I like what Kenny doing. Kenny mm -hmm. doing a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, and just like you said, Houston, it's a lot going on. But when you come to Chicago, y'all got to check in with me. That's real. But what that's made you right. change your life? Because when you was young, you was in the street, you was doing, a, a, you said you was your daddy's most worst kid. Child, child. Well, you know. So what changed your life to say that, okay, is it age? You got older? Well, I'm going to tell you this here. I got a chance. One day I was working on this guy's car. He was the leader of the vice lord. His name was Don Codeine. Mm -hmm. uh, off of Cicero. Vice lord. Okay? And we got to fighting because he wanted to take his car free. And I spanked him real good. And you didn't care who he was? He was a leader. Right. I spanked him real good. Then there was another one got out of hand called uh, King Bean. He was a leader of the Vice Lords, too. Just run a I had to spank him, too. He wanted to say he was going to jump me. I had to spank him. Then I had another fight with another guy called Baby Ty. I had to spank him, too. Wow. So these was leaders here. Right. And they wanted me to be their leaders. I said, no, I'm a man of God. Wow. I'm older now. I'm working and trying to take buy milk and food for my kids. So they was trying to tell me I have to check in. No, I'm not checking. I'm not with y'all. Uh -uh. So I began to meet a lot of people's heard about this man. You whoop such and such. I said I didn't meant to do it, but they put their hands on me. Yeah. And I had to defend myself. And so one of the guys walked up and kissed me in my mouth. A oh, man, I said, hold up, bro. Hold up. Man, you our chief. And I said, I'm not y'all chief. I'm not y'all chief. That's right. Tell y'all people, leave me alone. And that's why I gained my respect, man. But you know, and, and, and I was that's riding crazy. with guns in my pocket. Bishop said, hey, man, you can't ride with me with no that's gun. Said, he don't man, like guns. No, I had no, a gun. He said, hey, man, don't ride, no uh -uh, ride with me with no gun. I'm looking at every time I turn around. He said, man, so he straightened it out with this guy, Don Codeine, because he put his fellas on me. But I was ready for him. I was wondering about that because normally when I think about somebody who's a leader of a gang and you whoop him whether he lost or not, he's going to come back and retaliate. Yeah, that's why and I was so like. so that's what Bishop Don Magic Warren come. So I told Bishop, man, I don't want to see them guys know what he did. 
He took me, come on, get in the car with me. We ride. He pulled right in front of the guy where I beat the guy up. It was 100 gangbangers out there. He said, come here, the codeine, the leader. This minister sleep more, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't fight. Leave that alone. He said, on the street, you done, I leave it alone, man. But he beat me up. Just like Bishop say, it's Snoop Dogg life. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, with him, uh, when, uh, with, sure. with him and Suge was in. Bishop not still Snoop Dogg spiritual advisor, but you got to check in with the archer. You got to check in, man. If you don't check in, man, you ain't doing nothing but winding up, winding up, winding up, losing out. You got to check in, man. Has he ever told you where he got all his wisdom from? Who? Don Juan. Well, he got it from the streets, the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Just like I got my knowledge from the streets. From I the learned streets. stuff from him. He learned stuff from me, too. Mm -hmm. So I respect him in his, in his order. He respect me where I stand at. But I don't hold no mat, nobody hat. I'm not holding nobody right. hat. Right. Maybe you may hold their hat. I ain't holding their hat. I'm going to respect them. That's your position. He's older than you, right? Yeah. He, yeah How much about, older? About six, seven years older than me. Okay. But you know, the, if I was 20, he was 27. Mm -hmm. You... You guys over here in Chicago, the Bay Area, they go with that playing and pimping hard too. Where did it? Where did it first take? Originated it, I'm, I'm from? You, it came from Chicago, man. The Memphis boys and the Detroit boys, they was all right. But man, I'm telling you, when they did uh, uh, the Mac, Mac yeah, Jr., yeah, yeah, yeah. he came to Chicago. I, I brung him here, did the ball, but we had to let him know, hey man, you was a dope dealer. You want no pimp? He was a dope dealer. So when he came in, he was a hustler. But Mac Julian, when he came in, he checked in with the bishop. They checked it, man, they came here to Chicago. The, the Wells brothers, when they did the, uh, like I said, the Mac, they wanted Bishop to do the movie. Bishop said, I can't do it. They begged him to do it. He said, man, he was getting so much money now because he had some bad chicks, man. Man, he had some bad girls, man, super bad. He had one, she was notorious, man, and she's still living today, and she loving her death. Who had, the, who had the baddest girls out of all of these pimps you've ever seen and came across? Who's ever had the baddest girls? Me. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> man, let the truth be told, man. See, see I, I haven't said nothing. I've just been sitting back and just analyzing and seeing things. but. See, what uh, the minister was saying about thug and how people come in. I was a gangster. I come in as, you know, can two, three pistols, man. And I wanted to be around the players and hustlers at a young age. I met Minister Seymour in high school. Wow. He was a senior, and I was coming in being a freshman, and I wanted to know the game. I seen this cat with sharp Cadillacs and riding sharp, and he said, hey, hey, player. I see you, I know you be in the church and I've been hearing you sing in the church and all that, man, but man, well, check this out. It was this guy that gave me my first mink coat. It was wow. this guy that gave me the first diamonds, my first mink hat and things like that. So Carl, this too. cat, man, showed the love. Oh, man, 13, 14, no. No, you stopped at seven. seven. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, he gave me seven, but then he charged me for 13. For, okay. You dig what I'm saying? I had to pay him. Yeah. For real. This mm -hmm. is the minister. What you see is what you get with this guy. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. But they brought me in, and I wanted to meet Bishop. He said, hey, hold on. You know, you got them guns. So I'm still carrying my guns. I went around Bishop, and we kicking. We on. He introduced me to Bishop. He said, man, check this out, Candy. You can't carry them guns, man. Mm -hmm. You got to put the guns down. We don't live like that. How hard was it for you to put those guns oh, down? I mean, it was real hard because, you know, we still, this guy still was wearing a half a million, quarter million dollar worth of jewelry. Bishop mm -hmm. wears jewelry every day. And, man, we have had cats come up there want to, man, they want to rob us. They want to take everything. But they don't. No, I was his personal bodyguard for 33 years, this too. Mm. Real one. And ain't nobody never took nothing nowhere. I don't know where all these stories come from. But they ain't mess with the minister, and they know that church. So when you a bodyguard, oh. you 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 have a pistol if you're a bodyguard, though. Oh yeah, well you know I learned to do things on another level. Oh, you okay. know what I mean. We have to know how to circumvent. Mm. You know. Wow. Mm. So, so how so has it been, you guys? You know, all these years, man, seeing things because you guys are talking. Y'all talking the seventies all the way up. Seventies, that's right. Man. So how's how's the journey been? Like I'm talking to you, Candy Man. Like like. 
Did you ever think that you guys, y'all seen a lot of people come and go. Y'all seen a lot of deaths. Yeah. Y'all seen a lot of people uh, blow up in fameism and yeah. all that other stuff. Like, did you, how do you think about this whole thing? Well, you know, man, the Archbishop Don Magic Vaughn and Minister Seymour made the game fashionable and the word church fashionable that we could have something to look up coming from the ghetto. Because coming from the mud, man, you 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 seeing it. You 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 on public aid. Right. You understand me? It's hard. You ain't got money like that, and you seeing these cats do that. This man is an advocate business owner. Yeah, Mo always had a business, man. He always had a tie shop. He always had something going for himself as a young man. So that's what attracted me. Even though I was going to church, man, I'm in the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Man, when they let our choir rehearsal, man, I'm, man, I'm trying to check it, man. I'm trying to, man, man. So I put that, mm -hmm. and I got with a crew, man, that was a wrecking crew. You know what I mean? For real, for real. So I learned to, to do it, but when he came into my life, it was a total change. This man had children and everything, but he took time out. You understand me? To, man, put me in his tow truck, with, man, show me a different way of life, man. You wow. know what I mean? Real talk, bro. That's hard. For real, man. Don't make me take my, my Gucci's off, man. Don't do it, man. <laughs> but, 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 but no, seriously, see. And when and when a young brother get that, it's young brothers now, man, out in the street, they looking for love. Man, they want somebody, man, just to say, hey, man, you know what? You can do it. You can keep doing that, man. You understand? They ain't got nobody. These players was the voice. My father couldn't reach me. He couldn't reach me. And I'm the oldest of five. So I ain't had no big brothers. This guy became my big brother. Wow, Mr. Seymour, did you, you talk, I think your, your parent, your, was your dad a pastor? Yeah, my he mom was. He was a preacher was, and your mom. mom. Like, like, how did they feel about you in these streets after so long you well, was my, out there, you mama, wasn't coming back yeah, in? My, my mama, she, was, she had passed on, but my daddy said, young man, let me tell you something. I don't know where you get this life you live in, but I didn't raise you like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My daddy said, I didn't raise you like that. He said, man, you, 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 uh, you a crook. Mm. You was a crook. That's right. <laughs> and I was laughing. He said, but he, was, he said, I didn't raise you like this. Man. He said, I worked from nine to five for you, Kevin. Man, I used, I, used, I done did some crazy things. I done done everything but died. And I thank God today Man, I was able to encourage Snoop Dogg, encourage Ice-T, and encourage Big Daddy King. Yes, sir. The, the, the old man Dolomite, they getting ready to do the movie yeah. on him. Yeah, they, they did, you know, Eddie Murphy did one. Yeah, they doing another man. one. The daughter want me to be the uh, producer. Uh, How did you know uh, Rudy Ray Moore? That was our friend. Our he used friend, to, man. He used to come to all our players' balls. I brought him a few times to players' ball, and I was, I got a gospel CD came out, Rudy on there, Dolomite on the Ice T on my new mm -hmm. gospel CD, and the bishop they on there. I'm doing gospel because it come from you. You would never forget church, so that's why I tell young brothers that's your foundation. If, if y'all don't want oh, yeah. to come to church, either we gonna roll you in in the casting, and we if we can keep one foot out the penitentiary and one out the grave, we can help you. So I still had that spiritual in me, mm -hmm. and some things. Uh, when, like I said with Bishop, man, this cat, this cat was something else. Man, I was with him one day. Man, he whooped the, he, you know, the jock strap with the horses. <laughs> he used to whoop his chicks, man. With that, no. with that, and he tell him get in the bell tub and sprinkle alcohol all over them. Man, he used to whoop them chicks with that jock strap. Man, he's bit, they skin would bust open. Man, this guy was man. Bishop was something else. You need to get this stuff. This cat was something else, man. No. He was something else, man. And, and 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 then they go to work. They want to work, but it was him, man. All he wanted to see was the money. He didn't why want the would honey. he do? Why would he do that to them? He, he wanted, wanted that money. He didn't want the honey. He wanted all the money. Man, the man, the man was crazy. Man, that man have a hundred thousand dollars a day. He broke the mall. He go get fifty suits. 200 pair of shoes, 25 shirts, 100 pair of socks, four or five diamond rings made with big diamonds and come back the next day. 
and do it again. Man, this man was a bad. This man was cold in his game, Jack. He can't I wear all of that. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he wear. It, <laughs> you know, we used to go to the tailor shop and get a suit yeah. made for in the morning, the That's evening, right. That's and right. nighttime. We party right. all every day. Three times every a day. day. Three times a day. We check this out. Three times. I a day. never wore the same suit twice. Man, listen, man, look, the man, his best of his friends. When Bishop gave himself to the Lord, man, his woman gave all this suit to some of his friends. You should see all the guys was wearing this suit. You would think it was Bishop. He stopped wearing green. He was wearing black suits every Sunday. He had the church. And his friends had his suits on. You would think it's, it was him. They had all his big hats on, his shoes and everything. Like on coming to America. Yeah. You know what I like that. You they know. got that from there. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, let me tell you something. You'd be surprised what a woman do. My daddy told me after mama died, he, he got with some chick at the late, late of his that dying bed. Mm -hmm. He said, man, this woman I just got, she know how to cook. She know how to make a, 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 a pork chop take like a steak. This is how he... He said, man, and you know, my other stepmom, all her underwears and stuff like that, was in the attic for years. She went up there and washed them and ironed them. So can you imagine what another woman will wear your clothes if you leave out there? Right. Hey, man, I seen this happen. The man was so cold, I watched him. I took notes. Mm -hmm. He did his thing, I did my thing. But he was just wild, man. And chicks, man, the chick was on her dime, man. She got shot. Her birthday is October the twenty third, like mine. We had the same birthday. Wow. Her name just was had Mich a birthday. She was on. Her name was Michelle. He go to the hospital. I'm with him. The chick dying, bleeding to death. She said, "If I just the only baby get to get you some more money, all I just want to get you some money. Give him some money. Who this nigga is?" She hmm. told Bishop that on her dying bed. I would rather give you. Man, let the woman get saved. He wanted to get up and go to work. This wow. the woman, man, he was cold. Man, Bishop, man. the man's so cold, man. I look at him, I said, man, is this my friend? We came up together. But he, he real real cool now, but man, I done seen them, man. Damage them chicks, man. These guys weren't no pimp. These guys were simps. They was on the cover with dope dealers, and you know the one I'm talking about. And they'll come and just hang with us, man. <laughs> they'll come around us and hang, man. They wouldn't leave. They wanted to be something. They won, man. Because you can't be a pimp and a drug dealer at the same time. You can be what you want to do. You can do what you want to do. You keep saying, yeah, you can, that. You can watch this camera like you're doing all these cameras. You can do what you want to do. But a lot of guys fake themselves chasing clout. The day they come around us, you're chasing clout. Stop chasing clout and come on in the right way. They they want to know this person. They want to know this person. Want to know this person. Got to pay for it. I said, man, the game is sold. Man, I, I I just know that when when you look at Chicago, I seen Ice Cube came up here and did a barbershop. That was a, a story based out of Chicago. Like people have based movies out of Chicago. Man, how do you guys feel when other actors? Well, come we into don't the like city? that. That's Number one, we don't like city. that. Number one, we don't like that. You check in with us when you come to Chicago, yes. man. You check in with us because we got enforcers. We got we got brothers will step up. Mm -hmm. Brothers. And they do it right here. now. Don't let y'all can't come here and do what you want to do. Cause my I got brothers now. Let a movie truck pull up in Chicago. Don't contact us and put some of our peoples in it. The Jews want to come in here and take over Chicago. Yes. And our people don't lie. They shut them down. Shut them down. Pack you up stop and leave. It. Huh? You stop it. It take them maybe seven days to pack up. I tell you what. When when our people come back. I ain't gonna call their name. Hmm. They be gone in about eight hours. They be packed up and gone. Wow. Because number one, why would you come in Chicago and take over Chicago? Bishop in California, so I'm holding Chicago down now. That brother that you just filmed last night. Yes, sir. We ain't gotta do but call them boys. Hmm. Them boys coming. You can't take over Chicago, none of you rappers, none of y'all. Come in and respect us and put some of our guys in your video. Pay some of our guys. Don't come to our town and run in Chicago. We love you, but you got to respect us too. So when you seen the barbershop movie and you seen those actors that were not from here portraying that? Well, I like Ice Cube. Because Ice Cube did a good job on that look, movie portraying it. Did he, he did, film look, it here? You, you're not I don't know if he yeah, did. Yeah, he did. He did. I love Ice Cube. He did a good job, but they they tried to put my son in it. Something happened with my son. He couldn't make it. Ice Cube, a good brother too now. Okay. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm talking about the Jews now. Okay, you're okay. okay. The Jews, because 
Ice T can put up the money, but the Jews got Ice Cube. That's right. Ice Cube. Ice Cube, a good good brother. I'm just talking about the Jews. They come in, set up the movie trucks, and try to take over. Okay. Man, at least respect Chicago. Because these brothers have paid their life for the cor them corners. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to do what you want to do in, in their community, in this community. If you think I'm jiving, look up T Fly. Okay. On California and hmm. uh, Harrison. Yes. He's sir. a good brother. He feeding a lot of brothers over there. He take care of a lot of brothers. He doing a wonderful thing. So they want respect. That's all they want. Hey man, if you can feed other people, feed some of our guys been living on these D corners for years. That's all. Ain't nobody trying to hate and hurt nobody. That's real. But it's love and respect. Mm -hmm. Don't they respect you? Man, yeah. respect the community mm -hmm. and fight. Fight hard for our community, man. We need brothers over here, need jobs. We need need help, man. They should do that everywhere because a lot of times these big productions come into all these different cities and bring their own people and just film it. They ain't gonna lie. And they, not give anything not back to the city. They're not coming to Chicago. They don't have to check mm -hmm. in with us. And, hey, man, would you like to do something? They didn't get a lot of scenes. You know, I mm -hmm. did some in Empire. I did some stuff right. in there. But, uh, uh, and they got shut down too on a lot of stuff. You got to yeah. do. Right. You Empire, have to do right oh, yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, you must Empire, do right. Empire shot some of those scenes. Yeah, yeah. right yeah, on. I played in some on, of those scenes. Yeah, yeah, right on cost. But you have to do right. Yeah. They take. They film right in front of the taste book. I mm -hmm. did. Fifty Cent did some. Did um his new show here too. Yeah. Um, one of his new shows was they filmed out lot, of Chicago. They do a lot here, but sometimes man, it's good to check in with us and see. That's right. Can we do something? Mm -hmm. You know, we may say yes or no, but we got. A lot of young talent here today, man. Yeah. Chicago is nothing to play with. Chicago is so much killing in Chicago. Get them something to do when y'all come to Chicago. Contact us. Get these young people, these young rappers a chance. They good. Yeah. They real good, man. Man, you got you I got, got a, a host of like Lil Dirk. You got a bunch of people here, oh, man. Yeah. A bunch of artists oh, here. Yeah. Uh, but you have some that that like King Von are no longer here. You got mm. all these kids. A lot of them died. You know, uh, Mama yeah. Duck. She always talking mm. about her son. Her like, son. Like, mm. like it's a lot of it's a lot of history when it comes to the music. It's a lot of history when it comes to the culture. Whether whether it's the start of a gang or whatever. But a lot of people talk about Chicago. Mm. They a lot of people because of the media mm. won't even. Come Come to Chicago. Well, they're not gonna come because you know why? They know they don't play fair. That's all. See, you hit. Yeah, I'm coming. When you, when you play fair, it's hard to do right. If you do right, right gonna follow you. Mm -hmm. But you gotta do right with folks, man. Yeah. That's why people say, man, Don want to steal it. He done right. He did he his thing. Right. But man, them brothers gotta tip their hat off. Mm -hmm. You know, to us, man, they gotta tip their hat off because we made a way for them rappers. We made a way for him. Nelly and all of them. Nelly was doing Man, Nelly. We did stuff, stuff with Nelly. Pimp, Pimp Juice. Yeah, I remember that. We did that all that. With Nelly. Nelly Mama Man, it ain't no that. rapper we ain't did nothing for him. Once they get the bag, do they come back and say, huh? No, they forget. Man. Man, we done put a lot of rap. Yeah, I'll put a lot of people yeah, on the map, man. Yeah, all them rap. And I can say, I love Snoop Dogg to death, man. That's the one that really embraced, uh, yeah. like, y'all, man, and just y'all yeah. seem like y'all in, you, yeah. like, y'all on one accord. Man, oh, yeah. 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 Brother, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, yeah, Ken, like I said, Kenny, Kenny's yeah. doing a good job, and Ice-T doing a good job. What yes. he doing? Ice-T, man, I'm glad for you, Ice-T. You at home with mama, <laughs> babysitting. Dude, you got glad. one more question. I'm for the show. Yes, down. yes. So, um, with Don Juan, did he ever fall in love and get married? Get married? Yeah. Man, Bishop, <laughs> Bishop, his mother told me before she passed, she said, Seymour, you my son's best friend. Bishop can't fight. He don't know how to work on no car. He, he don't even know how to mop a floor. He don't even know how to sweep the floor. She said, all he know how to do is deal with these girls and take these girls' mama. They money. Mm -hmm. She said, help my son. Please help my son. He don't know how to do nothing. So he still then... He don't know how to do nothing. Do, he, he can find him a good woman to settle down with no, and fall in love. No, he ain't gonna get married. He yeah. not gonna get married. He got 24 kids. It, I tell you what. He got yeah. 24 kids. <laughs> don't Bishop he? got way more kids than 24 Man. kids. How many Man, kids Bishop he got? Bishop got about 37 kids. No, he Bishop got, got some kids. I, last time I counted, it was like 60-something. 60? Oh. Oh. See, he ain't no more than me. <laughs> Wow. Hey, man, <laughs> 60. Bishop ain't going to work, man. Man, the man going to get his shoes shine and put his suit on and put his big hat in. Look, know what he going to do? He going to look up at the sun like this here. 
up in the sun. He answered to the sun. That's it. That's so all he answered to the sun. Man, thank then you. Then he'll talk to the moon at nighttime. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what he do? He do he have a lot a lot of squirrels at his house, about seven, eight seven squirrels. Seven, eight squirrels? Yeah. Man, they, he, he know how to make them talk. He feed them pe peanuts, he they feed them and make the them talk. Yeah, they and come in the house. Yeah. That's what we love, them, them, them squirrels. squirrels. Them, them, them his best friend. But a chick, he ain't falling in love with no chick. Mm. Man, I done seen them have some bad chicks. Old boy said, man, I bet you can't bump up. He said, how much money you got? Mm. It's like that? Man, man. Oh. And, he, and he, he said, uh, what do you what you want me to do with them? Do you want them? He started laughing. The man just, he good at his gift, what he do. That's he been doing it. He specializes in women's, and that's what he do. And you got to give a person his crown. That's what he specializes in. Wow. He's my boy, and I love him. I ain't going to say nothing bad about him, but I'm just telling who he is and what he do. You know? Yeah, he, he definitely changed the game. Yeah. Ain't been nobody like him. And you, you know, Ice-T would have been worse if he'd have stayed, if Coco went to grab Ice-T. Worse than him? Coco, uh, if Coco went to grab Ice-T and she changed Ice-T life, Ice-T would have been the same way. Ice-T was something else, man. Wow. Ice-T from New York. I love Ice-T, man. Ice-T was something else. I know. Man. That's you seen blessing. some stuff that he That's did. That's a blessing. Coco got him by the hook and he a good guy. He at home now being a father. Ice-T was something else. No sugar coated. Man, man, so what, that Rolls Royce, I, I come to town, I want to get me a Rolls Royce to ride around in town. What, what, where do I got to come? Oh, you got to come. Uh, call Luxury that website. Rental I know what I'm saying. USA. And I'm going to send a driver. If I can't be there, but I'm going to either send one of my drivers or somebody going to come pick you up in a new car. We ain't, we got a lot of antiques, but we ain't got no old Rose Washes. Bro. We got none of all new cars. Bro. All new cars. How many new ones you got? All of them new. <laughs> He's seen two out there. I've seen two out there. Last. She's you, seen you, you seen them two out there. Actually, yeah, they were them new. Right there in the front. I new drove Rose one Rose last Rose night and my son was one. one. I waited on Ken to drive one, but he didn't show up. You know? <laughs> so, you know, hey, man, I really don't drive, but, you know, I came out just to support, support little Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. He's a good young man. You know, got his life together, make doing positive things for right. the young brothers in our community. May God bless him and keep up bless the good him. work. Bless man, him. that's what we all, man, like I said, he turned 50. That's why I came up. He asked, you know, oh, we man, talked, he asked me to come up, and I'm here. Like, any time he called, been that's going like that ever since we've been, we, I'm, I'm two years older than him, though. I got him. You got us, so you you the OG of us all. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm gonna hang, I'm gonna hang <laughs> How old are you? I'm Can't, 58. Ooh, Candyman. I'm 50. Candyman, do you think you made the right decision getting with uh, Millis to see more? No, oh, man, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> man, not, listen, listen, listen. Not only that, see, he didn't even bring this up. No. And, and, and listen. I didn't want we've to. Been, we, we've been singing together in a gospel group over 30 years. Ooh. Y'all yeah. ain't singing like no, that. No, his father, his father became like my father, and he wow. told me what to do. And he knew I was in the street and being a gangster, yeah. but I had to take my hat off to Minister Roy Beard. May he Thank rest you. in Appreciate heaven. You. you know, and his brother Darrell Beard, the late Darrell Beard, we call him Bo. Yeah, he you know him. what I mean? He went on, and that I know that damaged the minister. And I was away, you know, I was away in the penitentiary. But when I made a vow, I said, God, if you take me through this and let me get through this, I'll oh, get man. back. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I made that vow to my friend. And not only that, my vow to God to do that. So a lot of my, my wife and a lot of people, they don't understand the relationship that we have. But if it wasn't for Minister Seymour, I know I would have been dead, man. Yeah, Real because time. you know one thing about him. He won't put the gun. Hey, man, you can't keep riding with me with two guns every day. Then you got one in your sock. Yeah. Come on, man. I don't, I don't want to live like that no That's more. That's right. Real no. Time. I tell him, man, if you stop carrying your gun, you, like the other day, he rode with me in the road. I said, man, Ken, ain't nobody rode with me. Bishop on one side, yeah. he in the back seat. I don't let none of them brothers ride in the car right. with me. I tell him, you can ride with me. Man, a nigga shoot you in the head. Any right. nigga. You know, right. I, I've just been paranoid like that. That's but right. I asked him, man, get in your own car. Man, I don't want to ride with you get caught with no guns That's with right. you. That's right. He right. wouldn't put his guns up. Wow. Put your guns up, man. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have to indulge in that today, man. It's like I, I say, I got, on. you know, other people, man, and other things <laughs> around, you know. If Minister I that. Seymour, uh, thank you for coming on the show, Candy Man. Like, what's you, what's that you. Minister Seymour name, man? Like, like, when did you, when did they start calling you that? Well, uh, years ago, like I said, 
When I seen Bishop pull up in that Rolls Royce, I thought it was Batman car. Hey, man, I wanted more. I see more, and I always got more and more. 30 some Rolls Royce, big old, big old, big old pretty house, grandbabies. I just wanted more to take care of my family. I always wanted, to see, always wanted me a family, and I got me a family. Wow. He got him a good girl. That's what's he up. He used to fight her every day. They'd be fighting up in front of him and in front of the players. But he mad her. He got himself together. They'd be fighting really? every She day. checked me, man. The queen checked me, man. Much love to Queen <laughs> Donna Lee. She checked me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, man, I had to lay it down, you know. I want you players to be mad at me, but the truth is the truth, man. Man, thank you so much how, for coming on the show. Hold on, I have one more last one question. More show? Okay, this is How it. long after, okay, you saw Bishop with his Rolls Royce for the first time. How mm -hmm. long did it take you to go buy your first Rolls Royce after that? Maybe mm -hmm. I could have, let me tell you something. I could have got his when it, see, his, his Rolls Royce came from Tyrone Davis. Mm. Really? That's you know, I'm, a big, I'm a big Tyrone Davis fan. See, I played guitar. I played guitar for uh, Bobby Wall, Mac, Johnny Taylor. Really? I played the guitar. I'm a musician. Wow. So, we was all at the gambling table. They was gambling. Bishop, they was gambling. Tyrone needed some money. If Bishop said he didn't have it, I would have went and got my money. I would have bought it because I had the money. But he bought it. Tyrone, they was gambling, but he bought Tyrone Davis Rose Royce. Uh -huh. Then when he, he went and had it psyched out. So after then, I had a pretty kid. Maybe about 10 years later, I started multiplying candy with women when I got my first Rose Royce. That's right. So I went and got it, and he was with me. And I, I just been <laughs> building up because the U.S., uh, USA Luxury Rental USA is right. really growing. And uh, you're looking at P Indians, Arabs, they love to be in Rolls Royces. And it's only Rolls Royces you do, or you have other? I got other cars, but I got other cars, but they love. I got them antique Rolls Royces, 1936, 1937. I heard you said Phantom earlier. I got mm -hmm. all, there was Phantom, two Phantoms out there last night. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But the older cars, People love them. Yeah, they go all You know, like your mother, his mother, father, yeah. older people. Man, I remember I want to always get in and they run them. Mm -hmm. So you come to Chicago, look up Luxury Rental USA. Mm -hmm. You can get at the Rose Royce, you can get in that yacht, because we got six on the water now. So next year, early, maybe April or May, call that number, come to Chicago. Jamie Foxx was on one of the boats. Oh, yeah? Other week he was on. You done messed me up with that Tyrone Lamont, Davis. I'm yeah. a big Tyrone man, Davis. Who the guitar. Tyrone Davis, Lil Milton, Milton, any of them boys, Johnny man. Taylor, Johnny Taylor, Taylor ZZ, ZZ. Man, come on, man. You play guitar all for all of them. I played guitar oh, yeah. Yeah, down through the years. Like I said, came from Jewtown. Where all the wine is, all the old people just jump around. I had an uncle used to call the chicken man. He used to make all the chickens dance when the music. Mm -hmm. He made rest in peace. He gone on now. Wow. And everybody used to be down there at that street and playing guitar. Your, your aunties, aunties, uncles, and mm -hmm. had no shoes on, drunk and fighting down there. The old school. Man. Yeah, hey, Howlin' Wolf. Thank you. Howlin' Wolf. Boy, you look, man, you ain't gonna never let the interview in and say stuff like that, man. Hey, check it, man. Hey, man, thank you guys, man, for coming on the show, man. Live yeah, candy, man, man. Bless Bless Minister Seymour. It went down, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Check, 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 check. check. check.